the date ranges in this example are not sorted ascendingly or from smallest to largest and there is also gaps between some of these date ranges and for example this end date here and this start date here and also there is a day between this end date here and the start date the start date of this date range and we need another formula to be able to find the matching date range for this date value here and so what we need to do is to build two logical expressions that check tests if this date here is between the start date and the de end date or if it is equal to the start date or equal to the end date and i'm going to use i'm going to build the first uh, logical expression type equal sign and then parenthesis and the date this the date lookup date and I want it to be larger than or equal to the start dates and the start dates are in column C and then an ending parenthesis and enter this as an array formula because it returns uh, boolean values true or false as many as there are values in this set range so enter this as an array formula press and hold control and shift and then press enter once and now you can see the first value in the array so we need to extend the array formula so we can see all the values in this array now enter this as an array formula once again and here are the boolean values and this tells us that this date here is this tells us that this date here is uh, is not larger than this date here and to be able to understand this uh, I'm going to copy the dates down here and paste them as values because Excel dates are numbers and I'm also going to use the lookup value and copy that and paste it as a value as a number and now it's easier to see that the date value is not larger than this date here so it returns false for the first start date but it is larger than the second date which is this date here and the corresponding value in the array returns true and so on we also need to check that the lookup date is smaller or equal to the end date in in this column here and to do that I'm going to build a second logical expression and parenthesis and then the lookup date and it must be smaller than or equal to the end dates ending parenthesis press and hold control shift and press enter once to build an array formula now 
extend the array formula to cells below so we are able to see all the values in the array so to match a date range both of these logical expressions must return true and the first date range returns false for the start date so it can't be this one and the second date range it returns false for the end date so it can't be this one and it can't be this date range either or this one and why is that it's because there is a gap between the end date of this date range and the start date of start date of this date range and if i change this so no no none of these date ranges matches this date value here so if i change this to this date now it matches both of these logical expressions for this row and true multiplied with true is one or true and now we know that this date is found in this date range here so the next thing to do is to copy the logical expressions and multiply them and that is why i have been using parentheses multiply it with the other logical expression like this and enter it as an array formula and now you can see that the boolean value false is equal to zero and the boolean value true is equal to one and if you multiply boolean values you get either zero or one so zero multiplied with one equals zero and one multiplied with one equals one so now we have the logical expressions the next thing to do is to build the row numbers so we know what value to return and to do that i'm going to use the match function and then the row function and this cell reference and once again this cell reference and this Enter this as an array formula. And now we have the positions. This is the first value in the array. This is the second, third, and fourth. So we can now multiply this logical expression. These logical expressions with the row numbers and the array now looks like this since true is multiplied with true is one the row number for this row is shown in this array here because it's the logical expressions return true or one and the next thing is to use the sum product function and then paste the entire formula so far and then you don't need to enter this as an array formula just press enter once and now it returns a single value a single number and we can use that 
to get the the uh, value from this column, the corresponding value from this column. So equal sign index function parenthesis and paste the sum product function and then ending parenthesis and I forgot the first argument and the first argument here is this cell range here and the index function allows us to get a value from a cell reference or a cell range and the second argument is the row number so if this function here returns two it returns the second the value from the second row and in this case it will be b so press enter and you can see that it returns b for this formula to work there can't be any overlapping date ranges here keep that in mind